Hi there folks, Andrea Cox here with AndreaCox.com. I am so excited you're here with me today. Why? Because you guys always email me on Facebook and say, please post your beauty elixir tonic. And I'm all the time drinking it almost every morning and I'll take a snapshot of it. Sometimes it's orange because I put turmeric in it. Sometimes it's black because of the vanilla bean but I always post pictures of it and you guys are like, what's in it? So I'm gonna make one for you right now. Um, so I've got my handy Vitamix here. I've got some already cold brewed. I don't like to brew anything warm, to be honest with you. I'm a raw vegan and occasionally in the winter I'll do a cup of warming tea or a warming miso soup or even every once, once upon a year I'll bake a couple sweet potatoes, but I really um, find that my vibration is so much higher on cooling foods. Um, however, I am aware that my constitution sometimes needs a little bit of grounding and that's when I bring in the warm. But this is just Gynostemma tea by Dragon Herbs, Ron Tea Garden's Dragon Herbs. And I take kangen water and I brew it cold. So the base is gonna be Gynostemma tea. I'm gonna pour that in the Vitamix about three cups. And then I usually add a little bit of, are you ready for this? Diatomaceous earth. Now, many of you probably pour this on your plants outside. This is the same, uh, this is the same product, but this is food grade. Very important to get food grade diatomaceous earth. Why? Because the other will I don't know, may kill you, may make you sick, and I don't want to be responsible for that. Diatomaceous earth is one of the reasons it's my hair and my nails and my skin and my teeth and my gums are so strong and healthy. Uh, all the time, ask me what I do for my hair. That's a once a day email or, or question on YouTube or Facebook. So this is it. It's, it's diatomaceous earth. What you feed your plants, I feed my plants. So diatomaceous earth. I'm not going to put that in today, however. I am going to sprinkle a little bit of vanilla bean powder that I get from my friend Colin at the farmer's market. So I don't measure. I don't like to measure. Do you like to measure? I don't even like to cook. It's one of the reasons I became a raw foodist. So hope we're getting that. Is this in the... Okay. So... Then, this is a new one. I'm actually going to leave this one out as well, but I wanted to share it with you. Um, I got this from Colin a few weeks ago. It's Macuna and Tribulus, but um, the Tribulus is not the best for me right now. Um, so, I love the Macuna. I'm going to get Macuna by itself, but I can't have the Tribulus right now. So, normally I would put half a teaspoon of this in. Um, I'm going to do a little sprinkle of cinnamon. Love that cinnamon. It's a blood sugar balancer. And then this is the fun stuff. And you know, these are quite expensive. I'm not gonna lie. But this stuff is good. It's good stuff. I have pearl powder. So I just like to open, I can't stand capsules, so I like to open one capsule of pearl powder in here. This is an elixir. Um, and pearl powder is beautifying. It's great for your hair, skin. Your gums, again, it's amazing. This also is from Dragon Herbs, Ron Tea Garden's Dragon Herbs. And then um, Ginseng and Astragalus. I'm gonna keep this out because it's 3.30 in the afternoon and I don't wanna be up until 3.30 in the morning. Uh, but if I was making this in the morning, which usually I only have this in the morning, occasionally I'll have a second one before yoga, um, I would put two capsules opened of ginseng and astragalus. Last but not least, and this is going to be so controversial, but that's okay. This is ant essence. And when I say ant, I mean ants. Yes, little ants. Um, ant essence has polysaccharide ants, <clears throat> Don Quai, which is great for your hormones, your, your lurithro root, which is great for the mind, great for blood circulation. Rumania herb, which is great for the mind, also great for the libido. And Chinese licorice root, and it even has 
Juby fruit, and that's odd because I have fresh juby fruit right on the table, so that's kind of cool. But Ant Essence is awesome. It's, I'm gonna open one capsule in there. Usually I would do two if it was in the morning. It's just a really, it's a blood tonic, it's energizing, it just makes you feel balanced. So you'll wanna look up online, find out what your constitution is. Um, that would be like your dosha, like pita, vata, kapha, and find out which herbs are right for you. Don't just go do an Andrea Cox's beauty elixir and think it's gonna work for you because depending on your dosha, it may or it may not. So that's basically it. A lot of times I'll put a little bit of coconut water in there to kind of give it a sweet taste. Sometimes I put a little, um, you know, occasionally I'll, I'll add a little bit of turmeric in there and make it orange or, you know, fun. So we're just gonna blend that up, which you know what that means. You get the Vitamix dance. See, it's part of your subscription, the Vitamix dance. <laughs> Simple. That's it. I'm going to grab a cup, which I should have had, and I don't. That's okay. But that's it. That's it, and that's all. Yummy. Gynostemma elixir. Mm, perfect. Perfect every time. It's funny, you know, I mix these herbs up all the time and each time it has a different taste. I just always start with a base of gynostemma. That's the most important thing to remember. So it's really delicious. I hope you try it for yourself. And like I said, you don't have to have all these things. Just, you know, maybe some vanilla bean, maybe some cinnamon and gynostemma and you're good. The gynostemma is very inexpensive. It's like $7 a box. A box lasts you a whole month. So remember to cold brew it. Andrea Cox here, if you like this video and you've tried things like this, post your recipes below and hit the like button. And hey, as always, subscribe and share with your friends. Be well.